Um, Apple's first iOS 18.2 beta adds more AI features and chat GPT integration. I think I'm going to download the developer beta on my 16 Pro Max and do a video on some of these AI features, right? And maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I got a lot scheduled, so we'll see if I can get to it. But I will do that here in the future. I can promise you that. Um, Apple has released the first developer beta, iOS 18.2, introducing enhanced AI features, including giant GPT integration and image generation tools. Kind of looks cool. I've seen a couple of videos online, but I'm like, if that's all it does... The Pixel does way more, right? Samsung does way more. They're just barely touch. Apple's just barely getting their toes in the water, while Samsung and Google are doing back dives off of an Olympic board, <laughs> right? Apple's way behind, but this is the start of their AI. Here we go. iOS 18.2 beta expands access to Apple's AI capabilities, including new tools like Genmoji for emoji creation and image playground for image generation. Now this update enhances AI powered writing features and includes visual intelligence. We've seen those a few videos online surf, uh, surfacing in the last 12 to 24 hours. Now that allows users to search using their iPhone camera. Now I believe Google Pixel has had this feature for years already. Um, but iPhone's just now getting it. iOS 18.1 is set to officially launch soon, introducing the first batch of Apple intelligence upgrades, which includes a smarter Siri and notification of summaries. <laughs> now, the initial announcement of Apple intelligence features were made at WWDC 2024 with subsequent updates planned in stages, right? A notable, a notable upcoming feature for Siri will allow it to interpret on-screen actions and respond to user requests, although this is not yet available in the current beta. Apple has also released a beta for Mac OS Sequoia 15.2 featuring new AI tools, though Genmoji is not included in that version iOS 18.2 beta is now available for developers in more regions than before. The introduction of these AI features signifies Apple's continued investment in improving user interaction and functionality across its devices. We will have to see how that goes. Stay tuned. I will try to upload a video. Uh, I am a part of Apple developer. I do have an Apple developer account. And uh, I believe that's the only way you can get the beta version on your iPhone. So I think I might try and do that tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. Busy man. Now, more Apple news. Apple confirms exciting week ahead of announcements for Mac starting on Monday. If you have a MacBook, I've never been interested in a MacBook. But if you have a MacBook, good news for you. Apple confirms exciting week ahead. Right? Focusing on new Macs and the transition to the M4 chipset. The announcements are anticipated to include updates. Check this out. For MacBook Pro, iMac, and Mac Mini, all powered by the new M4 chip. The base model, uh, the 14-inch MacBook Pro, is expected to feature a base 16 gigs of RAM, three Thunderbolt 4 ports, and upgrades to a 10-core CPU and GPU. Higher-end MacBook Pro models will introduce M4 Pro and M4 Max chips for enhanced performance. The 24-inch iMac will receive an upgrade from the M3 to the M4 chip, likely also boosting RAM to 16, a base model 16 gigs of RAM, and adding two CPU cores to that M4 chip. The Mac Mini will undergo mo the, its most significant redesign in years, becoming smaller and adopting a form factor similar to Apple TV. Apple is conducting in-person hands-on events for select creators in Los Angeles, not eSIM Studios, maybe next year, during this announcement week. The specifics of how these announcements will be delivered, though, 
uh, through a press release or a launch event, which is doubtful, but probably do a PR release. Um, it just remains unclear. Users are encouraged to share their excitement and intentions regarding purchasing new M4 powered Macs uh, during this event. So it might be a uh, YouTube video, I'm assuming. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. So the M4 MacBook Air. No, we did not talk about the MacBook Air. The M4 MacBook Air production is going to begin soon. M4 Mac Studio is going to be delayed. So good news for MacBook Air users, bad news or potential buyers. Bad news for the Mac Studio. Mac Studio is the super expensive like $7,000 computer that you see YouTubers like uh, MK, BHD, and uh, some of these channels that have millions upon millions of subscribers, a lot of them use these Mac Studios. Some smaller movie production companies use Mac Studio to produce content, to produce shows, to produce movies. Um, these are like 70 grand, like insanely expensive. Um, those are delayed, <laughs> quite frankly, but let's... Let's get into the quick details. So Apple will start production of the M4 versions of the 13 and 15 inch MacBook Air models ahead of uh, an early 2025 launch. So Bloomberg's Mark Gurman reports there are no new design changes planned for the MacBook Air models and the focus will be on the M4 chip. Apple's working to bring the M4 chip to its entire Mac lineup. In the first Macs with the M4, M4 Pro and M4 Pro Max, are set to be introduced next week. Apple has plans for a new Mac Mini, MacBook Pro, and Mac iMac models. The MacBook Air models will follow in the early months of 2025, between Jan January and March. After that, Apple plans to refresh the Mac Studio. Garmin claims that the Mac Studio was on track to be updated alongside the MacBook Air, but is now going to see a refresh between March and June of 2025. In prior articles, he has said that the Mac Studio would come out in mid-2025. So it's unclear what has changed, but I'm sure they're just sorting it out. Uh, have no fears. It'll be around here uh, probably, as we mentioned, mid-2025. MacBook Pro, the M4 Mac Pro, is in development as well, but it's not likely to come out into the second half of 2025. Around that time, MacBook Air models come out early 2025. Apple will also refresh the iPhone SE, iPad Air, the low-cost iPad base model, and introduce a new keyboard design for the iPad Air. 2025 will also see the debut of a new home hub device that has a small square screen. 